The Texas Senate District 10 race is another key one to watch. It is the only swing district in the state Senate this year. Todd Unger is with the incumbent tonight, Republican Senator Connie Burton, and Todd, a lot at stake in this race. Marie, a lot of eyes here in Tarrant County, certainly on this race. As you mentioned, a lot of eyes from across the state, especially down there in Austin. Now, earlier this afternoon, we did catch up with the incumbent, Senator Burton, at a polling place in Arlington. The state Senate seat here is widely viewed as the most competitive because it was only four short years ago that Democrat Wendy Davis held the seat before making that run for governor, which she lost. Burton has spent her tenure in Austin aligning herself with the more conservative members of the state Senate. She's a staunch ally of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick and wants to tackle property tax reform. She didn't seem too concerned earlier today about a blue wave this year, even though she has had to raise more than a million dollars this cycle because of the competition. We had uh, budgeted for it. We expected it to be this much money. It is the only swing Senate seat in the state of Texas. So it could go Republican, could go Democrat. Um, so, you know, both sides are working very hard. I'm clearly working very hard to keep it. And we're going to do that. Now, Burton's election night watch party kicks off here in the historic stockyards just about 7 o'clock. They're expecting a big crowd here. But before we 